The Grand Bahama Port Authority says a probe into the billing practices at the power company has uncovered some inconsistencies. According to a news release, after numerous complaints from consumers last year, PricewaterhouseCoopers was retained to conduct an audit of all internal procedures relative to the power company's metering and billing process. The Port Authority says about nine days ago, the final report was released and it revealed a number of inconsistencies in the processing and documentation policies of the power company's metering and billing practices. That report by PricewaterhouseCoopers is now available on the Port Authority's website at www.gbpa.com. The Port Authority says it welcomes the power company's commitment to invest in initiatives to secure improvements in this regard. Meantime, the Port Authority, as the sole regulator in the city of Freeport, says it hopes to implement a new electricity regulatory framework and operating protocol to strengthen and amend existing regulations. Tonight, a local attorney is giving his take on the Price Waterhouse Coopers audit. He contends that it simply proves that the power company has been taking advantage of Grand Bahama consumers all along. The audit was conducted by Price Waterhouse Coopers and the accounting firm compiled its findings in a 31-page report. Attorney Osmond Johnson says when it comes to Grand Bahama Power's business practices, the estimation of billings, training and general customer service standards, the findings are scathing. For example, the report has highlighted the fact that the Grand Bahama Power Company passes on its internal inefficiencies to the customers in the form of inflated bills. In addition to this, we have also seen in the report where it is highlighted that there are instances where billing clerks will purposefully apply high rates to a customer's bills in an attempt to get them to attend at the local headquarters of the company. That is totally illegal, it is unacceptable, and it is entirely against international best standards and practices in the field of energy supply. Further to this, they have pointed out various inconsistencies and a lack of transparency in respect to the fuel surcharge, which as all of us know, has applied a considerable increase to the average standard light bills that we pay here on this island. Attorney Johnson believes these findings clearly show that the residents on Grand Bahama have suffered a lot as a result of the power company's practices. This practice engaged in by the, the Grand Bahama Power Company has directly impacted on the lives of Grand Bahamians and indeed has driven our standard of living considerably down. How many more businesses are going to have to become bankrupt? How many more persons are going to have to lose their homes and their livelihoods before this government takes action on what is a central key issue to the economic and social future of this island? The local attorney is now calling on the government to step in and take action against the Grand Bahama Power Company. He says the report details 16 separate deficiencies within the company and residents can take action. I think that this would actually form um, the basis or the grounds for a civil action against the company itself. I believe, in my humble opinion, that the customers of the Grand Mama Power Company are owed millions of dollars in compensation from the company, and indeed, we should move forward with this. There should be an organization formed which is focused on addressing the considerable losses that our people have suffered. The audit was conducted between 2010 and 2011. We will have Grand Bahama Power's take on the audit tomorrow.